Welcome back to my new series on 100 amazing places to visit in the world. I created this list using a combination of some of my favorite places in the world, plus some inspiration from this book. Now, in the last video, we explored from New York to Mexico to the deserts of Peru. And today, I'm going to share with you 20 more incredible destinations from the Swiss Alps to Central America to the South Pacific. Let's begin our journey today in Italy. Next, we journey to the enchanting coastal area of Cinque Terre on the Italian Riviera. Known for its rugged cliffs, vibrant pastel-colored houses, and breathtaking views of the Ligurian Sea, Cinque Terre is a dream destination for those seeking beauty, tranquility, and authentic Italian charm. Each local village has its own unique character, with narrow streets, quaint cafes, and plenty of local artisans. It's also a haven for hikers. The famous Sentero Azuro Trail offers stunning views and allows you to experience the region's natural beauty up close. Before you leave, make sure to try one of the white wines that grow in the region. And remember, Cinque Terre is one of the few remaining places on Earth that doesn't have cars, so it's recommended to arrive by train. Santorini is one of the gems of Greece, a stunning island in the Aegean Sea that attracts thousands of visitors per year. Lured by its steep cliffs dotted with whitewashed houses and bright blue rooftops. Because of the volcanic nature of the terrain on Santorini, you can find different colored beaches in different corners of the island, such as the unique Red Beach or the Black Sand Parissa Beach. And with blue water views from almost everywhere on the island, a highlight of visiting Santorini is taking in the sunset before dining on fresh seafood or partying at night with a view. One of my favorite places in Santorini is the Akrotiri Lighthouse, the oldest in Greece. But of course, you can't leave the island without taking a photo in Ia, with its iconic blue domed churches and windmills. Milford Sound is a fjord in the southern Alps of New Zealand, which was created when a glacial valley was flooded by the sea. Nestled in the heart of a national park, it is a natural wonderland of towering fjords, cascading waterfalls, and lush rainforests. Most certainly a place for you to experience in your lifetime. It's also a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, where you can see seals basking on rocks, dolphins playing alongside your boat, and if you're lucky, you might even spot penguins or an albatross. If you visit Milford Sound, also make sure to go to the nearby Mirror Lakes, which reflect the view of the Earl Mountains. It's also a great place to bring your kids. Located in the middle of four Swiss forest cantons, Lake Lucerne is known as the heart of Switzerland. This vivid blue lake, whose color changes throughout the day, is surrounded by charming Swiss villages where you can enjoy lakeside promenades, cozy cafes, or indulge in local culinary delights. You'll also want to take a leisurely boat ride across the lake's very calm waters or hike up the nearby Rigi and Pilatus Mountains for panoramic views. One place to visit if you're in the area is Giswil Village, a town seemingly frozen in time. It looks just like a scene out of The Sound of Music. Next, we head up to the small country of Estonia, bordering the Baltic Sea and Gulf of Finland in Northern Europe. Once part of the Soviet Union, Estonia today is known as the most digitized country in the world, where its citizens can vote online and your cell phone will work everywhere, including in the middle of an Estonian forest. 
In the warmer months, you can enjoy exploring some of the beaches, lakes, and more than 1,500 islands throughout the country. Top places to consider include Sare Ma Island, Lahe Ma and Suma National Parks, where you can also take a bog walking tour, and the seaside resort town of Parnu. Tartu, the second largest city in the country, is also a must, but there are old castles, churches, and fortresses and things to see throughout the country. Winter is a great time to visit without the crowds where you can enjoy winter sports such as skiing, ice skating, and sled riding that you can follow up with some time in the sauna. Depending on the weather, you may even get the opportunity to drive across Europe's longest ice road. In December, Tallinn's picturesque old town lights up with Christmas decorations and a traditional Christmas market, making it the perfect place to sample seasonal foods and mulled wines. Also make sure to walk around the wall around the old town with pieces of the wall still intact since the 13th century. I also enjoyed visiting the Keek and the Cook Museum and Bastion Tunnels, an underground bunker and shelter that was used during the Second World War. And for a fun day trip outside of Tallinn, you can take the ferry over from Tallinn to Helsinki, Finland. Next up is one of my favorite cities in the world, Berlin. In addition to its historical significance, the German capital of today is known for its lively atmosphere, thriving nightlife, tech scene, and eclectic charm. If you go, make sure to visit the iconic landmarks, such as the Brandenburg Gate and the Berlin Wall Ruins, but there are also more than 180 museums there. I especially recommend the Holocaust Memorial, which was one of the most emotional and moving travel experiences of my life. You can also delve into some of the world-class art museums, such as the Pergamon and the East Side Gallery. And for shopping and dining, don't miss the trendy neighborhoods of Mitte or Prenzlauerberg, or the alternative vibes of Kreuzberg. And for a view of the city, head to the top of the Berlin Cathedral or TV Tower. The Roman Colosseum is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. It's also ranked as one of the seven wonders of the world. This amphitheater, which was built nearly 2,000 years ago during the Roman Empire, can accommodate 50,000 people. Once used as a forum for gladiator games and public spectacles, today it's the central attraction in Rome, drawing millions of visitors annually. Rome was the first European city I ever traveled to when I was 17 years old, and going there changed my life. I still remember exploring the underground labyrinth of tunnels and dungeons below the Colosseum, as well as the park next door. And if you work up an appetite, not to worry, because there are plenty of cafes nearby to grab a gelato, espresso, or a fresh mozzarella sandwich before your next stop. Located on the border of Canada and the United States, Niagara Falls is the second largest waterfall in the world. The falls are actually composed of three different waterfalls, Bridal Veil, vale, the American Falls, and Horseshoe Falls on the Canadian side. The sheer magnitude of the falls combined with their stunning surroundings creates a sense of wonder and amazement. If you go, make sure to take a boat tour, such as the famous Maid of the Mist, to get up close and personal, feel the mist on your face, and cruise along the base of the falls. Alternatively, you can also experience the views from the observation decks or take a stroll along the Niagara Parkway. Beyond the falls themselves, the surrounding area offers a wealth of attractions and activities. Explore the charming town of Niagara-on-the-Lake with its quaint shops and wineries, or enjoy thrilling adventures like zip lining, whitewater rafting, or helicopter rides for a different perspective. Over in Southeast Asia, we arrive at the idyllic island of Koh Phangan, Thailand. 
Just off the coast of Koh Samui, Koh Phangan has long enticed travelers for its stunning beaches and laid-back bohemian atmosphere. In recent years, however, it's also become famous for its legendary full moon party, drawing revelers from around the world. The island has so much to offer though. You can immerse yourself in its tranquil vibes with yoga and wellness retreats, detox centers, and holistic healing practices available throughout the island. But for adventure seekers, there's also snorkeling, cliff jumping, jungle trekking, and plenty of water sports. You can also take a boat to the nearby Ong Thong Marine Park. But of course, no visit to Thailand would be complete without trying the local street food, which you can find at Thong Sala Market, Pantip Night Market, or the Pangan Food Court. Located on the Bahamas Harbor Island, Pink Sands Beach is among the world's most famous beaches. The unique pink sand hue comes from tiny red organisms which have broken up and mixed with the white sand. Along with the turquoise water, it makes for a stunning contrast that's simply breathtaking. A perfect place to swim, snorkel, or soak up the sun with a rum runner in hand. The area is complemented by a variety of luxury resorts and boutique hotels, such as the Pink Sands Resort. And at your doorstep, local beach bars and restaurants serve up delicious Bahamian cuisine, including fresh seafood, conch fritters, and other tropical delights. Tokyo is another one of my favorite cities in the world. Founded in 1603, it's also the most densely populated, complete with the busiest intersection in the world, Shibuya. There are many reasons to visit Tokyo, from its extraordinary culinary scene and level of customer service, to its history, culture, shopping, and temples. And although Tokyo has the highest number of Michelin star restaurants in the world, you can find a great meal anywhere, especially in the Yokocho, old school alleyways full of isakaya, perfect for having a drink or sharing small plates. In Tokyo, you have options though, from grabbing food at a convenience store or vending machine to sitting down for a traditional tea ceremony. A good time to visit Tokyo is in the spring to see the sakura or cherry blossom trees in bloom. You can also hop on the high-speed Shinkansen train for a day trip in Kyoto, Mount Fuji, Hiroshima, and beyond. Before you leave, make sure to try some fresh sushi or ramen around the old Skiji fish market. Also make time to meander through the many museums, parks, temples, cafes, and zen gardens that you'll find throughout the city. I personally like Shinjuku Goen and Sensoji, Tokyo's oldest temple. Just off the coast of Central America, you'll find the Great Blue Hole of Belize, the world's largest underwater sinkhole. With a diameter of over 1,000 feet, it's so big that you can even see it from space. The Great Blue Hole is a diver's paradise, full of stalactites and diverse marine life. Diving here is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore one of the natural wonders of the world, which was once ranked as the most amazing place on Earth by the Discovery Channel. But if diving isn't your thing, this multicultural country still has plenty to offer, filled with lush rainforests and wildlife preserves, friendly locals, Mayan ruins, and beaches that make you feel like you're living in a postcard. The English-speaking locals are known to be quite friendly as well. Sydney, Australia is a world-renowned travel destination that will captivate you with its stunning harbor, iconic landmarks, and vibrant cosmopolitan atmosphere. At the heart of the city lies the Sydney Opera House, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and architectural marvel. And just over the Parramatta River stretches the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which offers you panoramic views of the cityscape. 
When you're ready for some sunbathing, surfing, or a beachside stroll, you'll have no lack of options to choose from. I especially like Manly Beach, which you can easily reach by ferry from the city center. There's also hiking in the nearby Blue Mountains and Royal National Park. Sydney is a great place to visit year-round, but especially during the new year, as it's the first major city in the world to welcome the turning of the calendar each year. If you visit in May or June, you can experience Vivid Sydney, which is an annual event that transforms the city into a dazzling canvas of light, music, and creative innovation. Wander through illuminated gardens, attend industry talks, and witness light shows that push the boundaries of technology and art. Although it's impossible to choose just one beach to visit in Hawaii, Oahu's Waikiki is a great place to start when visiting the land of Aloha. Hiking to the top of Diamond Head Crater that towers in the background of every iconic photo is a truly memorable experience. It may also be a windy one, however, so make sure to bring layers in case it gets cold, as well as sunglasses and a hat. Down on the beachfront, there's plenty to do, whether you want to surf, swim, or just lounge around on the beach with a Mai Tai. Waikiki is also a great jumping off point for other destinations around Oahu. You can take a road trip to the North Shore in the winter to see the giant waves of pipeline, or jump off the famous Waimea Bay Rock during the summer. And make sure to explore off the beaten path destinations that you encounter along the way, such as Lanakai, Waimanalo, or the Ko'olina Lagoons on the west side. The picturesque Scottish capital of Edinburgh is definitely somewhere you should visit. Regarded as the Athens of the North for its commitment to art and culture, today it's one of the top festival cities in the world with an event for every passion or interest, from art to science and music. Fringe Festival, which takes place in August, has been described as the single greatest celebration of arts and culture on the planet. Edinburgh is also the world's first UNESCO city of literature, the birthplace to world-famous writers including Arthur Conan Doyle of Sherlock Holmes and J.K. Rowling of the Harry Potter series. If you're a fan of books, you can peruse more than 50 bookstores throughout the city. But Edinburgh is perhaps most famous for its iconic castle that sits atop of Castle Hill. Inside, you can visit the Great Hall and see the oldest crown jewels in Britain, as well as the Stone of Destiny, an ancient symbol of Scotland's monarchy. Access to other attractions such as St. Margaret's Cathedral and the National War Museum are also included in your ticket. Outside, take a walk down the Royal Mile, an iconic street that stretches from the castle through Old Town. It's a great place to shop, dine, and sample authentic Scottish whiskey, as well as to see other historic buildings and landmarks. Up in the buzzing port district of Leith, you can eat at waterfront seafood bistros and have tea on the decommissioned Royal Yacht Britannia. Before you leave, make sure to visit the National Museums of Scotland, which houses 12 million objects in its collections. But don't stop there as there are countless places for you to explore in the rest of Scotland, from the Scottish Highlands to 800 islands to the majestic Isle of Skye. Topping the list of the world's happiest countries is Norway, a place where the sun never sets in the summertime. Norway is a safe country and an ideal destination for both solo and adventure travel. It's a place where you can hike fjords shaped over millions of years and drink clean glacier water straight from the ground. It's also home to the stunningly beautiful Lofoten Island chain in the Arctic, a picture-perfect place with scenic landscapes and plenty of wildlife. It's also one of the best areas in the world for you to catch a glimpse of the Northern Lights. 
Lufoten is an ideal destination for hiking, relaxing, and exploring quaint fishing villages. It's also home to arguably the best salmon sandwich in the world, which you can try at Anita's Seafood in Rain. You can even surf there, especially around the town of Unstad. Just make sure you have a good wetsuit. Next on our list is the remarkable phenomenon that is the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth, sitting at more than 1,400 feet below sea level. The Dead Sea is 10 times saltier than the ocean, allowing you to experience the unique sensation of floating effortlessly on top of the water. People have been traveling there to benefit from its healing properties since biblical times. The mud and water, with their high salt and mineral content, are also said to heal various skin conditions. If you visit the Dead Sea, you can relax there, of course, but there are also many historical sites to see nearby, such as Masada, an ancient fortress perched on a cliff, or head to the Dead Sea complex for stunning views and to learn about how the Dead Sea was formed. There's also a spa, restaurant, trails, rock garden, and museum there. This important region of the world is also home to many biblical landmarks and is where the Dead Sea Scrolls were first discovered in 1946. Istanbul is unique in the world in that it's the only city that lies on two continents, Europe and Asia. The immense Turkish capital is home to more than 15 million people and 400,000 stray animals. It was once also the capital of three great empires of the past, Ottoman, Roman, and Byzantine, resulting in a fascinating blend of different architectural styles and religious landmarks. One place you must visit there is the Grand Bazaar, the world's largest covered market. I have a travel vlog about it linked below. Alaska's Mendenhall ice caves are truly a sight to behold. The turquoise blue ice pools are made up of compact ice crystals, creating an illuminating light that changes color according to the time of day and year. If you're fascinated by frozen, icy landscapes like me, this is the destination for you. It's also a photographer's dream, offering plenty of potential to capture some mesmerizing shots. Another thing you can do there is paddle across the lake and then hike along the side of the glacier. A guided tour lasts six hours and costs around $300 per person. Unfortunately, climate change is causing the glacier to recede, so visit while you can. Like Norway, Costa Rica also ranks among the happiest countries in the world, just a little bit warmer. Also known as the Switzerland of Central America, Costa Rica is bordered by Nicaragua to the north and Panama to the south. Undoubtedly one of the top ecotourism destinations in the world, it's home to Corcovado National Park, the most ecologically diverse place on the planet, home to 3% of the world's biodiversity. After spending eight years of my life in Costa Rica, I feel like I just scratched the surface of this beautiful country. But some of my favorite places that I can recommend to you include the Tabacón Hot Springs in Arenal, the Cloud Forest and nighttime hikes in Monteverde, and the Manuel Antonio National Park. The Ostianal Wildlife Refuge, located in the pristine Playas de Nosara, is a special place to watch baby turtles hatch from August to December. It's also a great surf destination. The capital of San Jose also has a lively atmosphere with plenty of museums, restaurants, and culture to enjoy. Check out the cafe scene in the Los Yosas district and the organic outdoor markets on the weekends. And don't forget about the Caribbean side. You can take a bus, car, or local flight from the Central Valley to Puerto Viejo and any other part of the country. Hi, I'm Kristen. Thank you for traveling with me today. And if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe and click over here to keep watching.